What if your AI could actually read the room, crush creative writing benchmarks, and go to toe to toe with Google's Gemini 3 model? In late November 2025, XAI rolled out Grok 4.1 Beta, a big upgrade to its chatbot that now runs on Grok.com, X, iOS, and Android. It scored top spots on emotional intelligence tests and even briefly touched number one on LM Arena text leaderboard. Today we're breaking down what's actually changed, what's just hype, and how you as a developer can use Grok 4.1's API. We have videos coming out all the time. Be sure to subscribe. Quick rewind, Grok came to life November of 2023, initially just on X by XAI, yes, Elon's company. Now jump forward to July of 2025. XAI shipped Grok 4, marketed as their flagship AI model, with stronger reasoning and tools. Then November 17th of this year just rolled around and they pushed out Grok 4.1 Beta, with more emotional intelligence, lower hallucinations, and higher creativity, rolled out amongst Grok.com, X, you name it. Think of 4.1 as same core system, but more human feeling and more production ready. This is almost a glimpse at what maybe we can expect when the Grok 5 drops in Q1 of 2026. Now, XAI didn't flip this on overnight, no. In fact, the first two weeks of November, they ran a silent rollout where some users unknowingly got the 4.1 beta, while some stayed on the old models. They ran these A-B tests on this and found that users preferred Grok 4.1 over 65% of the time over the previous version. On November 17th, XAI officially flipped the switch to roll out Grok 4.1 to all consumer apps. Two days later, on November 19th, they rolled out Grok 4.1 Fast and the Agent Tools API, a developer-oriented model with a huge 2 million token context window aimed at tool calling and long context workflows. So what's actually new in this 4.1 beta? Well, according to the XAI's release of Grok 4.1, we have some new things to expect. It's tuned for higher emotional intelligence, which leads the EQ Bench Emotional Intelligence benchmark with a score around 1586 in thinking mode ahead of seven several rival models. Then we have much lower hallucinations. One analysis reports hallucination rates dropping from about 12% to just over 4%. That's a 65% reduction compared to just Grok 4. And then we have big gains in creative writing, with top tier scores on the Creative Writing V3 benchmark. XAI and TechPress both frame moving 4.1 from its edgy, chaotic chatbot feel into a more emotionally evolved AI chatbot that's more emotionally aware, stable, and useful in real world workflows. Now we get two behaviors in our apps. We get a fast, low latency mode paired with a deeper thinking mode for multi-step reasoning. For developers, the big story is Grok 4.1 Fast plus the Agent Tools API. XAI describes 4.1 Fast as its best tool calling model with that 2 million token context window, all designed for things like customer support, workflows, finance, that kind of stuff. The Agent Tools API can call web search, X search, code execution, and other tools from inside a single model call. I just created a simple bot that is going to use Grok 4.1 in the fast reasoning model. And I thought it'd be kind of funny if we did like an SRE analysis and I created some dummy logs from CrowdStrike. Cause who doesn't love CrowdStrike? Now, when we run this model, I want it to analyze and it's gonna find any errors or anomalies in the logs that I create. Not only do we have a key timeline and anomalies of all the issues, we have the specific anomalies that were triggered. Thank you, CrowdStrike. We have the root cause match. This is mostly based on the actual incident. We have our key sources, and then we have some SRE recommendations it gave me, like to verify the fix, to mitigate, post-mortem actions. Now let's talk benchmarks, but with a grain of salt. Multiple sources claim that Grok's 4.1 on thinking mode hit an ELO score of 1483 on the LM Arena text leaderboard, at least briefly holding the number one overall position with the non-thinking model holding really close behind. Articles also note that Grok 4.1 one also holds close to near top on EQ Bench for Emotional Intelligent and ranks among the strongest models on creative writing benchmarks. But that doesn't mean it simply just 
beats everything. No. A recent Tom's Guide head-to-head -head found Google's Gemini 3.0 winning overall in their nine prompt test. Even though Grok 4.1 did better on some tasks like factual accuracy and creative writing. So the headline isn't Grok killed Gemini, no. All this really means is that Grok 4.1 is now a frontier model that's trading blows with OpenAI, Anthropic, and Gemini, all depending on the task. Now, if you wanna try this out, Grok 4.1 beta is already rolled out, so you can head on over to the Grok or even X to try this out. But as for us devs, Grok 4.1 Fast on the API is priced around 20 cents per million input tokens and 50 cents per million output tokens. That puts it well below historical pricing for other top tier models, especially long context and heavy workloads. Of course, it's not all sunshine and ELO scores. Even the most optimistic reviews are noting that hallucinations are down, but we still have hallucinations. This is a very powerful large language model. There are also bias and safety concerns. Grok has already drawn criticism for controversial outputs, and European regulators have started paying attention. So where does this leave us? Well, Grok 4.1 beta is stronger. It's more emotionally intelligent, it's faster, and it does compare with some really strong benchmarks. But the usual caveats still apply. Be mindful of the outputs, mindful of bias, and we're just gonna see how regulators react. But this is a huge step forward with this 4.1 beta that is sure gonna make Grok 5 pretty incredible when it comes out in Q1 of 2026. We'll see you guys in the next video.